We, we actually did a, a story on this young man uh, at Channel 5, and uh, I did not do the story. And, and, you know, we do so many stories, but every now and then one will catch your eye. And, and so I watched it. We then replayed it on this uh, program I have called Let's Talk Sensi because it's very impressive. Let me tell you a little bit about Marcus Elliott. Marcus is a recent graduate and valedictorian of Euler School. Last spring, he signed up with his uh, team. It's a team of four now to compete in the JA Stock Market Challenge. So it was hosted by Cincinnati State, as you saw, and sponsored by the Binger Foundation. Unfortunately, believe it or not, on the day of the competition, as I said, the team is four people. Three of them didn't show up. So that team of four became a team of one. A lot of people would have said, I'm not going to do this. But Mark has decided to take on the challenge. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a moment. And so he went on to, to compete on the national competition and finished sixth in the nation. And so you can imagine that his confidence and his spirit that he brought to the competition earned him a lot, a lot of respect. He is a student now over at the University of Cincinnati. Please welcome to the stage Marcus Elliott. So I should also point out, all of you remember uh, Marion Spencer, the civil rights icon here in Cincinnati, uh, former uh, vice mayor for the city of Cincinnati. She passed away a couple of years ago, and they started um, a scholarship fund over at the University of Cincinnati in her name. And is it a full ride to this? Uh, the scholarship is a full ride, everything, room and board. And next year, I get a trip to Tanzania. That's, 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 that's pretty good. Stay, stay close by. The questions get harder. <laughs> um, we also shared some things in that story that I think you should, should hear because it's a reminder. And we were talking at the table. It's a reminder if you have the right support around you, um, and you have someone like Marcus who says, I'm, I'm determined, I'm going to, to change my circumstance, that will happen. So, so, so Marcus, explain to them your, your uh, situation before you were in high school. Okay. So in middle school, I was a straight F student. Uh, I'm not ashamed to admit it, I was a straight F student. In my eighth grade year alone, I was suspended 22 times. I had so many, I never missed a day of school, but I had so many absences, I was tardy from being suspended. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> they, they sent a letter home and everything, and I hadn't missed a day of school when I had it. And um, that uh, eighth grade year, I ended up passing, and I moved in with my mom. And then in ninth grade, I decided I wanted to make a change, and... I became a straight-A student and then went on to win a valedictorian in my class. That's pretty impressive. Uh, it's impressive because he could have easily just given up. Um, there is a funny part to this. He's having a conversation. I think you're having this conversation with one of your best friends. Tell that part, too. So when uh, we graduated, or well, we graduated eighth grade, um, I talked to my friend that had been my best friend since second grade, and um, I asked him, I said, out of our friend group, who do you think is going to be the one to drop out of high school? And he looked at me dead in the eyes, and he said, honestly, you. <laughs> and, you know, back then when he said that to me, I was like, wow. 
my best friend just told me he thinks I'm going to be <laughs> to drop out of high school. And at the time, I was kind of upset at him about it, but we're still friends to this day. And he, I, I mean, he kept it real with me. He told me honestly what it was. And that kind of pushed me as well to hear that, like, how far I had plumbed it as a, as a student. Well, it's good that you have friends who tell, who are straight with you like that. And, and, and I'm being very serious. And, and congratulations to you. And I, I know Mrs. Spencer would be so proud of you because I think that's, that's what that scholarship is all about. Let's talk about this business thing. You, you go here, you're by yourself, you thought three others were going to be with you. Did, I would imagine you were a little nervous, and did you think about saying, hey, maybe I shouldn't do this? Uh, well, um, when they, they told me my team beforehand, and I kind of planned the night before a whole, what everyone's role was going to be, and I was, well, I was ready for everyone to assume their roles, and we, we, you know, we had a good shot at the, the, the thing, and then I got there, and then they said, okay, well, you're on this team, and, well, it looks like no one's here. And I was like, no, my team's not here. And it was like, yeah, you're, you're the only one. We can find you a replacement team. And I was like, uh, I would rather, can I just compete by myself? And they was like, are you sure you want to do that? And I was like, it's worth a shot. And then, then, then the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you're given a certain amount of money, right, to, 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 to tra uh, buy stocks. T talk about your, your trading strategies. Well, the first thing that I, I knew before I even got to the event was I was going to, they let us invest some money before the event started, and I invested all of my money right how away. Much, how much was A that? million. <laughs> a million. Right away. They, as, as soon as it started, all of my money, because I felt as if I let my money sit, it's not making any money. So, you know, usually the way the stock market goes, it'll always go up. It'll come down sometimes, but it'll eventually go back up. So I was ready to invest all of it from the start. This is kind of how it went. Wow. I don't have a million dollars with me, but. Uh, <laughs> and then talk about uh, JA and how this really has benefited you, because ultimately, when, you know, we have this, this dinner, but ultimately it is about you and other young people like yourself uh, benefiting from junior achievement. Well, uh, when I was in my senior year of high school, like most people, I wanted to go to college, but I had no clue what I was going to do, zero clue. And the event kind of helped me realize that I was really good with business and stocks and stuff like that. So when I got my admission to the University of Cincinnati, I chose the uh, Lindner College of Business, which is extremely, I, I don't know what I would have picked if I didn't end up doing the stock market challenge. Well, good luck to you. Congratulations. I'm glad they had a chance to meet you. Yeah. Give Marcus another big round of applause. It was nice to meet everyone. <laughs>